guys, welcome to my channel. So today's gonna be a little bit different, um, a little bit more vlog style, kind of a day in the life of cooking for a party. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I am all about minimalism, right? So minimalism, obviously, I like that because it's efficient. And that's honestly like the whole aspect of my channel is efficiency, being more productive in your work, being more efficient in cleaning, all of those different things. And the reason that I like efficiency is because then you get more time for yourself, which who doesn't like that? So with being efficient, think about it this way. In the kitchen, if you're more efficient in the way that you cook, spending uh, less money, using less ingredients, spending less time in the kitchen, all of those things, then you kind of buy back some of your own time, right? So it got me thinking and I was like, well, you know what? We're hosting a party this weekend and I really don't want to be in the kitchen the whole entire time the party's happening. Because, you know, sometimes like, I don't know if you guys have ever had a party and you are in the kitchen all day long cooking while everyone else is having fun. Comment down below if you've ever been in that situation. It sucks. So I was like, all right, you know what? This Saturday we're having a party. Granted, like nine, 10 people, nothing too extreme, but I didn't want to be in the kitchen all day. So I said, all right, you know what? This is gonna be minimalistic cooking. Something that is something that everyone loves, but not too many ingredients and something really simple that literally takes like five minutes for each thing to make. So the things that I'm gonna be cooking today are basically very simplistic things. So I'll kind of show you hacks of how to get it to taste good without putting a lot of effort into it. Also on top of that, they're all things that you can make ahead. So for example, we're gonna make like buffalo chicken dip or different types of salads or different things like that. And everything that you can make ahead and either just put in the oven and it tastes like brand new or you can put it in the, um, you know, just store it in the fridge and then bring it out for the party and you could be having a good time during the party. So with that, I'm gonna take you guys through. Uh, I know this was a long introduction. I'm super sorry for that. Just wanted to explain what was uh, happening today. I'm gonna take you guys through all the different things that I make. And then on top of that, stay tuned until the end. So I'm gonna show you a couple pictures of the party or some videos of the party actually. All right, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys, so the very first thing that we're gonna make is buffalo chicken dip. Now, this is a staple that I honestly do for every single freaking party because it's one, super simple, and two, everyone loves it. Honestly, like if I don't make it, people are like, where's the buffalo chicken dip, right? So I'm like, all right, you know what? People like it, it's easy. Why the heck am I not going to make it? So literally the ingredients that you put in is just some like cheddar cheese, a uh, little bit of ranch, a little bit of like buffalo wing sauce, um, cream cheese. Make sure that you, I always forget to like thaw it out ahead, but it's so hard to make if you don't thaw it out. So it might be a challenge. And then the secret ingredient here is this canned chicken. Now I showed this in a previous video. People were like, wow, I didn't even know canned chicken exists. And sure, it maybe has a little bit more sodium than what I prefer, but you know what? No one tastes it and they kind of like that like salty dip type flavor and dips aren't meant to be healthy. So you know what? Here, this is a super quick, super effective way. And also I've had so many people be like, wow, the chicken's so tender in here. How'd you get it tender? And I was like, Oop, just canned chicken. So, and I've told so many people about this because everyone else just kind of sits there and like shreds the chicken and it takes freaking forever. I did that. I made that mistake on the first time. So this is what I suggest. So follow me along. And we're going to go ahead and make some quick buffalo chicken dip. Oh, and also another thing is I use a crock pot. So then I don't even need to heat it up. I don't even need to do anything. I have this baby little mini crock pot and I think it's like four ounces or something and it's absolutely perfect. All right, so let's go ahead. So there, I'm done with the buffalo chicken dip. Like I said, I made it in the crock pot, so it's super easy, just a one pot thing. You don't need to then transfer it to another pot. Um, so I'll show you to you guys. Now it doesn't look too pretty, right? Because everything's on like the rim. So what I do here is I just take a paper towel and I just go around the rim like this. 
I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing. But I just go around the rim like this, and you see how it's cleaning off the rim? So now it looks a lot nice. I missed a little spot right here. But so notice now it looks a lot nicer. And then once I put it in the crock pot, then it's going to um, heat up. I'll just kind of give it a stir right before I serve and really no effort. Um, and I could just enjoy the party. <laughs> guys so now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it I got uh, everything here the meat and all also what I wanted to show you guys real quick is uh, this uh, we talked about efficiency before right so take a look at this it's oven ready lasagna noodles so these you don't have to boil ahead you don't have to do anything like that you literally just go ahead and take these lay them out layer your things and then go put it in the oven. It's super, super simple. I highly, highly suggest these. But okay, let's go ahead and uh, open these up and let's get started. Also uh, pre-shredded cheese, lifesaver. Also while I'm at it, I'm not just gonna make food for the weekend, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a little tiny lasagna for us as well. All right, so we're halfway through. Um, well, a little bit more than halfway through. I just wanted to show you guys. So let's take a look. Actually, I don't know even what you guys can see. All right, so I'm gonna come down here with you guys. All right, so here's our lasagna. Notice I just do like a light spread of everything. Nothing too, too crazy. And there we go. All right, so let's uh, keep back at it. Put you guys back. So the next thing on our menu is going to be a pasta salad. So I actually have the pasta cooking on the stove right now. I'm getting that going as I'm going to start chopping some things. It's super, super simple. It's literally chopping a tomato, chopping a little bit of an onion. I like red onion. Um, I think it gives it a better flavor. And then on top of that, I like to put um, mozzarella in it. Now, what's so great about the mozzarella that I get is it's called mozzarella pearls. And there are these tiny little balls of mozzarella that you don't even need to chop. You don't need to do anything. You just throw them in and it's super, super easy for pasta salads or anything like that. Also, another tip is getting pre-sliced olives. Now, also another thing is, is these ingredients I'm also going to use for another thing later on in the video. So what I like to do is I like to keep kind of my food in the same family, I guess you could say. So I use a lot of the same ingredients. So for example, when I'm chopping onion, I chop a whole bunch of onion for a couple different recipes. It kind of speeds up the pace it makes it go a lot faster. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's start making our pasta salad. I was chopping the stuff for the pasta salad, I noticed it's actually the same ingredients as bruschetta. So I figured, why not make another dish? 
All right, so now while I'm at it, I have reserved some onions for something that I'm gonna make later. So I actually might as well tell you guys about that now. It's going to be a um, another type of dip, but it's more of like a Greek style hummus dip. So you actually, what you do is you take a thing of hummus that you could buy from the store, super, super easy, and just throw some nice uh, fresh veggies on top. And it makes a beautiful dip that it looks like you spent a lot of time doing. But notice I'm already chopping like tomatoes and different things for a lot of the other things that I'm making so then I could just go ahead chop a little bit extra and throw it on top of the hummus and now I have a wonderful dip on top of my pasta salad and it makes it super super simple and really really nice so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna chop up a couple other things for that too just while I'm at it I'm gonna chop up cucumber some dill um, and some other like you know Greek style things uh, different types of olives too all right so let's go Alright, so one thing that I'm doing as well is if you see I'm putting all of like the cut veggies into these like Tupperwares instead of like throwing them actually into the pasta salad and doing that stuff now. Now the reason that I'm doing that is I find that if I put those veggies, those fresh veggies into let's say the pasta salad tonight and today is the day before the party, then it tastes like leftovers on the day of the party. It doesn't taste fresh anymore. But what I found that if I cut up all the veggies ahead of time and then just like an hour before assemble it, then the flavors don't like meld together. So it still tastes like super, super fresh. And it tastes like you made it like that day. So that's kind of a trick that I found along the way that kind of really helps for me. All right, so the next thing on the menu is gonna be pigs in a blanket. As you notice here, I got bun length hot dogs. I don't buy the small ones because they're like double, triple the price. And then I just go ahead, cut these up. Also cut up the crescent dough, wrap the crescent around it, super easy. And then I have pigs in a blanket. Alright guys, so the next thing on the menu is caprese, and if you notice here, I get the pre-sliced mozzarella, so it saves on time and it helps with that efficiency. guys thanks for watching so this is our delicious spread of food that we just made if you did enjoy this video make sure to subscribe like and comment as well as stay tuned for some pictures and videos from our weekend